Welcome back to Adam Soratari Extreme. Boy, man, Shukai is just raging out of control. You can see all the people that are around me. And I was fortunate enough to run into Chris from Dark Side Racing. Now, the amazing thing about this is pretty much everyone around here has no idea who I am, which is great because I'm incognito. Unfortunately, Chris knew who I was and actually had a video from back in the day and asked me to autograph it. Amazingly enough, for those of you that are much younger than me, this is what we call a VHS tape. I know you're not familiar with it, but it's amazing. And that just makes me kindred spirits with this man. Chris, it's amazing. Great to see you. Great to meet you, my friend. Nice and please give me the rundown on Dark Side Racing. What's the focus? What do you guys do? And what events do you compete in? Um, Dark Side started in uh, 2001, uh, mainly as a bunch of friends from high school. Um, started off with well, Hondas, racing Hondas, quarter mile. Um, now it evolved into more of like a, a brotherhood. Um, you know, some people don't have cars, some people went circuit racing, mm -hmm. kind of drag racing, uh, you know, dirt bike, autocross, whatever. Wow, you guys are really cars. widespread then. Yeah, That's amazing. Uh, Very cool. 25 members. Uh, and we all pretty much live on the same block in San Jose. Wow, like that's even more street. amazing. Yeah, and we very cool. together, uh, very close-knit. Man. Uh, been around since 2001, and uh, a lot of events we do, uh, we always support Shukai. Uh, that's one of the events we support. Week, week, week Fest, uh, we do a lot of racing at SAC or Menno Raceway. Been down to Fontana as far as Vegas. Um, some street racing here and there in Mexico. Oh, yeah, in Mexico. <laughs> Everything's in Mexico, guys. Yeah. Always keep that in mind. None of us promote street racing, yeah. okay? That's street the key here. In Mexico, um, uh, Bun Willow, just all over California pretty much. Very cool, very cool. Now guys, that is extremely unique because there's such a tight community. And if you'll notice, the different, I guess, interests that all of them have bring them together in one specific thing, that everybody wants to move to Mexico. That is a common theme, correct, my man? Yes. But it is very cool, and they do a lot of different things. Now, the interesting thing about Chris, too, is that he's seen a lot of changes in the industry because, as you know, Adam is retired and off doing other things, marriage, kids. Now, Chris, give us the, uh, the scoop on how have you seen things change from when you and I were competing together to today, as far as in drag racing specifically? Uh, specifically drag racing, I mean, I grew up watching like uh, Battle of the Imports, you know, import show-offs in that era. Uh, I would say back then, like, you know, it was all about, it was all about fun, competitive fun. Um, you know, you were probably running what, Quick 8 back then. Quick eight. I don't even remember. I'm so old that my memory is gone. So I'll take your word for it. Yeah, it's about Quick eight with the Avo Ibarra and all the Flacco. Oh, no, I do remember yeah, Avo. I remember all those guys. Mm -hmm. um, nowadays, you know, it's all about the money. Like, a lot of people want a big payout. Back then, what was your payout back then? Like, What's a payout? Like, you probably, probably just had six <laughs> foot trophies. Yeah. You had yeah. six foot trophies. Um, that was fun. You're right. It was mostly for fun. Yeah, so it's amazing that it changed. Right, right. Now it's like everyone's just in it for the money. Really? Uh, yeah, pretty much. Like a big payout, people attend an event. Mm. Um, I mean, I don't know if you ever attended like CMIs up here up north. You're most likely like uh, Naira, Battle of the Empire. No, actually, I like Tony a lot. Does Tony still run it, Tony by does run it. Tony's a super good guy, Tony Sacramento, Trent. CMI. Yes, if you go. Hey, yeah. bro hey, brother, how you doing, my man? <laughs> Come on, my man. Uh, I'm just an old retired guy. Don't even worry about it. Pay no mind to him. He was just, he tripped as he was walking by. <laughs> but, but as we're talking about, yes, Tony's a real good guy and he still runs CMI, but, but a lot of that stuff, unfortunately, it's changed. A lot of people don't go to events just because, you know, the payouts aren't worth it. People are dumping a lot of money into their cars and, you know, payouts aren't there. Not really a lot of competitiveness in the sports. Uh, a lot of it shifted from West Coast to East Coast. Uh, East Coast has all the bigger payouts and everything. A lot of people travel out there from the West. Uh, but other than that, like, I just think back then it was more organic. Like everyone, you know, like, I don't know, Dave Shee, Tony Fuchs, all those guys, Team California, Lock Trent. You know, those guys were doing it when I was growing up and they were just going back and forth, NorCal, SoCal, you know, going traveling like that. And uh, they just did it more towards for the sport. Now it's just more for the money, I think. Understood. Well, as time goes on, guys, everything changes. And I think what we can take away from that is that Dave and Tony are much smarter than Adam as they retired and left and are doing much bigger and better things. But for some reason, I'm back here again at car shows hanging out. But the cool thing is, is that I'm hanging with Darkside Racing. Chris from Darkside's amazing Integra for all of you Honda enthusiasts out there. Bro, the car is super clean. It looks like it's been detailed just I don't know, five minutes ago, even though it's been sitting here the entire show, yeah. and I don't even see one rock chip on this car. It is amazing. I'm assuming you don't drive it very often? Uh, I do drive it a lot. Um, this is my circuit car, Time Attack. Um, I have a bunch of other cars. Uh, 
this thing. Mix it up, right, my Mix man? Mix it up, yeah. Very cool, like very it. cool. Well, it looks amazing. What have you done to it? Um, basically, I'm on the of the shell. Uh, um, Time Attack doesn't need a lot of power, so we put a K-series motor, K20. It um, has custom header, cold air, uh, RPC intake manifold. makes about 235 wheels on motor. Very cool. Um, a lot of suspension wear from some guy down in Southern California. Pro Car Innovation, Kingpin, uh, Special Project Flip and Splitter, um, Mugen Gen 2 in Recaro seats, uh, cars getting caged next week, um, Volt T37 wheels. Uh, it's, it's a fun car to take around the corner. The said it's going straight with a lot of power. I'm sorry, man. I didn't hear anything after you said Mugen because that just means a whole lot of money. Man, uh, probably, I don't know. I need to, again, win the lottery to afford something like that. But boy, man, take a look at this. Jeez. And everyone who's into Hondas loves Mugen. It's just the top of the top, right, my man? Yeah, Gen 2 wing, I mean, she's amazing. I bought this wing 10 years ago for $200. People are asking about 3000 to 3500 right now for the wing itself. You know, I don't know. I, I wish I would have just bought a whole bunch of these. Yeah. You just retire, right, man? Yeah. Jeez, man, amazing. Yeah. Now, did this this car was an original Type R? It's an original Type okay. R. Uh, my buddy owned it. EJ fronted the car. Okay. Uh, I would have kept the USDM front, but I got a good deal on the shell itself. Man, the front uh, looks amazing, yeah, though. You made a good call. Jeez, yeah. very clean. Yeah, pretty much this is just like my mess around car, unless I bring out the Mustang for some big money races. I like that, my man. Very yeah. cool. And have you done anything to the interior? Or is uh, it still work in progress? No, the interior is all done. Recaro's. Um, it's just getting caged. It's okay. getting caged next week. Sparkle steering wheel. Oh, man. Very Checker cool. Sports, shifter. Um, yeah, those floor mats are going for a brand new 1500 People pay for those floor mats. Wow, the man. OEM type R checkered. Jeez, man. Looks amazing. The seats integrated well. I like the red Recaro trim. Ties everything together. Of course, matches with the Type R. Yeah, I want to get original Type R color wheel, so I want to titanium metal. I don't want to start away from the black and red metal kind of color thing. And I bet those original wheels are really cheap as well. The original wheels are pretty, pretty cheap now. But if you have an OEM Type R low mileage, I've seen one go for about seventy-five thousand dollars last week. Man, incredible, man! Is it? Can we take a look under yeah, the hood? It's actually a shift sport hood. This is the only one stateside. Wow, I the only buddy. one. Dang, yeah, looks amazing. And uh, he was in the service, and he came back with it uh, with this car. Is it carbon? It's carbon paint. Yeah, I can see them very nice. The, you can barely see the weed through it. Very nice. Look, all the hood supports and everything are very nice. Oh man, you've done a phenomenal job. We could literally eat off of this. It's so clean. Yeah, it, it used very to be nice a show one. car. My buddy had it as a show car, and he sold it to me, the shell, and I turned it into a grip car. Cool, cool, man. Yeah, so stock motor 235. I mean, quarter mile times are probably see a low 12 second, but in a, a circuit, it's pretty fast. Very cool, man. Yeah. Well, Chris, I know everyone's exhausted. I could feel yeah. your pain, my brother. So thanks for coming back and showing it to us at least. Want to make sure we took care of you. Yeah, definitely. So my friend, it was Thank so you, nice Adam. meeting you, man. Nice meeting you, And too. man, it was cool hanging. So hopefully, you know, I don't know, sometime when I'm in Mexico, we can hang out, yeah. maybe do some racing of some kind. I'll, I'll be going down to uh, Inland Empire soon to race. Very cool, my man. As all of you know, I love Ferrari and Lamborghinis. Look at this amazing 458 GT3 car. This is from Danny. Danny's car is amazing. He is enormous on Instagram. He is also has his own successful YouTube channel. I put the channel down below. Please check it out and subscribe. This is extreme. As all of you know, I love exotics, but I like to kind of limit what I do to them. Let's hear from the man of what he thinks about this and what he's done to this amazing car. Danny, my man, good seeing you, brother. How's everything going? Gosh, congratulations on all the success and everything. The cars all look amazing. All of you follow him on Instagram, check out his channel. Can you please, my man, give us a rundown on what you've First done to thing, this? I love your car, too. <laughs> oh, thank you, brother. <laughs> man, what a nice guy, my man. See, you guys got to take care of this guy. Yeah, this is so pretty much like, you know, like a regular, like 458 Italia, like 2010, which means the first year they made it, Okay. which means almost 10 years old. Wow, amazing. it looks yeah, like course. you just bought it yesterday, my no, man. Yeah, I mean, it's got a full, like, a thick thing, you know, of course, you know, like, you know, every single, like, body part, you know. So, I got all those, actually, the racing GT3 part from the Ferrari racing team in Canada. Wow, Because man. in the United States, they can really actually sell it or, like, give to them the public. Understood. Yeah, so Understood. I got, so, pretty much, like, you know, when they get an accident on their racing team, let's say, like, they're gonna, like, like, damage on the front, I collect, like, a rubber bumper. 
like real fun. Yeah, so like oh my goodness, all man. the parts came from the different car. Wow. Danny, how long did it take to collect all the parts? It man. took me like one and a half year to collect whole parts. <laughs> and <laughs> another like one and a half year to build a whole car. So oh it my took gosh. about like three years to finish this, you know. Oh my gosh. Guys, this is a man with dedication. Three years. I don't know if I'd have the I don't know if I'd have the persistence to do it. Even the wheels too. Like it took me four sets to find the perfect fitment. I, I still had to go man. through like first, Jeez. Third, like you know, like you know, like a three, like four different sets to go to like a perfect fitment. Did BBS make these custom for your yes, car then? They did. Are these magnesium? Yeah. Oh man, guys, a man after my own heart. <laughs> Amazing stuff. That's my she, favorite wheels. Really, really like too actually. They look phenomenal, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Please, my, my channel really loves projects like yours. Yeah. So what exactly, I mean, how in depth did you have to go in the modifications? Now, of course, as you know, I watched Danny's channel. I've seen some of the stuff he's done and basically pushing forward to keep all the supports and as much in as he could possible. Danny, can you give us an inside scoop of exactly the process of how you did it? I mean, it was an easy job. It's not like a rocket burning, like a Liberty kit. You can just bolt out and bolt in, you know. You see probably from different like YouTube guys, they're trying to build this car. They actually cut this frame. Have you seen like those Goon Squad or TJ Geyser? I have the seen. Car? They actually cut this out. I mean, it's not going to drive same. Yes, yes. Seriously, I mean, you drive this kind of car, you, you cut the structure. It's yes. not going to drive same. There's no support in the... I don't know how they're going to drive the car, but you know how many like miles this car has you're not gonna believe me please tell me Ninety-four thousand miles i drive <laughs> this is a man <laughs> this is a real man not like guys like uh, me that don't drive my cars very often <laughs> And he drives it, and look at how amazing it looks. I don't even see one imperfection in this car. Oh, you know, oh like man, <laughs> jeez, man, this guy is amazing. That's incredible. And Danny puts out something that's very, very important, guys. When you do your projects, you always want to try and pay attention to the structure itself because it's exactly right. Rigidity is everything in these cars. So if you alter that, it definitely isn't going to handle the same. So from front to back, what panels still are from the factory 458 that haven't been changed? Has uh, everything been changed? Just, uh, so this is the GT3 bumper. Mm -hmm. I think it's, it's all carbon. I mean, you can, it's all carbon. It's all carbon, you know. And this is, this is the fully GT3 part too. Door is actually, you know, factory. So. Okay. So you can tell this is a factory, yeah, and this is a factory, and right here, this is, and, and this is a full, like, a GT3 friend liner, you know, which is a thermal fiber. Wow. Jeez. Yeah, it's all, yeah, I mean, pretty much, yeah, that's it. Wow, man, what an amazing car. It's, in, it's incredible. And the fact that, as most of you know that work on your own cars, the fitment is perfect. You can look down the line and sight down everything. Everything fits nice. Danny did a phenomenal job on the car. And honestly, a lot of the cars you'll see, he points out, I don't like to say too much, but a lot of that stuff you do see on YouTube is not anywhere near this. This is a true build, and it's the right way to do it. I mean, you look at the wheels, it's amazing too. Now, I've heard this car on your channel, and, it's, and I've never heard a 458 that sounds like that either. How do you get that sound? First of all, you gotta have a custom ECU. And second, you gotta get the full header and straight pipe by not aftermarket company like IP or other like that. It's gotta be like racing car from the Ferrari racing team. You actually got it from the Ferrari racing yeah, team, huh? So those setup is from actually the 458 Challengers. Wow. You know, when you go to track, those like sounds way different with our like, you know, street mm -hmm. cars, right? <laughs> All those parts is from them. Oh my gosh, man. And how, what was the process to get that stuff? All those parts came from Ferrari Racing Team in Canada. Mm -hmm. So like, you know, I just I just have to wait until they wreck the car. Oh, oh man, you are a true <laughs> patience. Saying, man, that is awesome. Now it's man. even hard to get it because they don't build 458 GT3 more. They're only building 488 GT3. Oh my and gosh, man. That Jeez. could be my next project too, you know. But the thing is, I don't like turbo supercars. I love pro JDM turbo, you know, but... I don't know. It's gonna be. We'll see. We'll see. No, that's that's amazing, man. And I totally understand. Now, the crazy part about this is, is before we started doing this segment, Danny was telling me that his roots actually is in JDM. I used to live in Japan, like when I was in high, uh, junior high school. Oh my God, very Yeah, cool, I used to have like S13, S14, you know. Oh man, you're true. Up, that's how I started my car life too. You know. I mean, now, you know, it's like I'm getting older. I hear more you, money, you know, <laughs> I'm going with the Lamborghini and Ferrari like that, you know, but Very that's cool. where I came from. I still have my GTR. Nice, man. Yeah. Oh, your GTR is beautiful. I've seen oh, it. Yeah. It's amazing, man. The strange thing is, is that when you become a celebrity and successful, you'll notice that 
he's kind of chosen to go a different path. And this is the way to go. I hate to say it, but I wholeheartedly believe with the, what direction he went in. I know that most of you are going to hate me for that. But honestly, the car is awesome. And on the, on the ECU, you were telling me before that you did the Novatech, right? So you have full programmability of everything, right? That is really, really unusual. So you guys, you know, the one way to go is full standalone, which we often talk about on the race cars. But the cool thing is the way that Danny did it is, is that everything is maintained so he can literally control everything and the tuning even, right? Man, that is just amazing. And what else has been done? The thing is like, I didn't want to put the bucket seat because okay. I drive, like I say, I drive. Yeah, well, you're, yeah, you're looking for back problems yeah, yeah, that yeah. way. I completely understand, brother. Yes. Yeah. Four thousand miles. Man. I mean, like, so I, don't, I didn't want to change anything, but it's got the full, like, you know, ladder. I changed the full interior, you know. Wow, you changed everything, everything. then. Okay. But so, I don't want to make it like red or something to pop it out, like people see, you know, like that, you know. Man, you that looks hear? that looks amazing. Sure, can you fire it up? Yeah, sure, yeah. Okay, guys, we're gonna get a really, really big treat here. The man has said that he will fire it for us. And I just love the sound of any Ferrari. That sounds so amazing. My only question to you is, how do you evade law enforcement? I mean, I, I, mean, uh, I got. I, and for those of you that don't know. Danny prides himself in his privacy. That's where he wears a mask, and we all respect that. I'm lucky enough where he's cool enough, he actually shows me his face because he knows that if, if I go down, he goes down, we all go down together, right, my man? Yeah. But, I mean, man, because all I hear is stories about people getting tagged for exhaust. How are you able to get away from that? Hey, just have to be careful. <laughs> okay, guys, so a word of wisdom from Danny the man. Be careful. Be careful out there, okay? Cool, cool. Man. <laughs> That's all you have to do. I love this guy, man. I love this. Jeez, man. Danny, and the, the, the right height looks really, really low. Did yeah. you change the suspension out as well? Yeah, first time I tried the cup kit, but it was hard to keep the car clean, you know, with a mm -hmm. cup kit. And I like it when you slam down the way how the car looks, you know. It looks amazing. Yeah, man. so I talked to the back here. If they can build like a whole like a strut and suspension like really tight as a, like a pull over. Mm -hmm. It's not just bag, you know, I think the full suspension actually. Okay, cool. To put this actually air right, you know. Wow. I talked to them, yes, they're gonna build custom actually like strut and the full suspension for me, you know. So they actually did, you know, and I'm happy with it, so I can it goes up like 70 times. That is I awesome, know. man. It's wow. Crazy. Gee, so do you have an onboard compressor and a reservoir and you just hit that button yes, and she pops? Yes, yes. Oh man. Yes, yes. Guys, that is one thing I'll mention. If you want to drive a supercar that is nice as this or any supercar, get the front lift. It's worth any kind of amount of money, I mean, right? There's no friend? way I can put 90,000 miles without this kit, you know. I mean, how are you going to drive like that? You know? Danny, 90,000 miles. Where have you gone in this car? I take a I just went to LA like twice like last month. Wow, man. Car. Jeez, I, and man. people like, I don't even have clear, bro. I was like, I don't even have anything in the night, not, not even start me for anything. I just drive it. Guys, when you're mega successful, that's what happens. You don't care about the clear bra, you just drive and have a good time. Man, well, I sure enjoy you showing us, and this is just, take a look at this engine compartment if you could, and the intake is, is different as well? Yeah, I mean, uh, that's a, it's not a racing part, you know, mm -hmm. it's just a regular, like, a Novi Tech, like, you know, like, you know, like, yeah, older, but yeah, I mean, look at, look at, look at it, it's all peeling out, because, you know, it has a, almost 100,000 miles, you can really see from actually a Ferrari engine, you know. You know what's crazy, though, guys, about stuff like that is, literally, those are battle scars. Actually, all of us that have Ferraris, we have the utmost respect for people like Danny, because we're all too afraid to drive our cars and this is the man that truly does the deal well my friend have we missed anything on the car i mean did we cover everything uh, did i miss anything i guess everything's all good oh yeah and all those diffusers too like the, this oh, all man. i actually um like chassis mounted so you can actually step on it yeah so it's not yeah danny no, i can't believe you're actually stepping on the yeah. diffuser <laughs> i mean my heart stopped i don't know how you guys <laughs> I should just no, no, like Whoa. People actually just mount it on the bumper, right? All, like even side of the front and the rear, it's all actually like chassis mounted. Oh my gosh, and, man. And I'm sick of, I used to have carbon, and I'm done with the carbon. I crack all the time. Okay. And this one actually even protect my bumpers too. So when you actually come here, mm -hmm. come on, I put all the side skirt. This is not a GT3 part, I just custom made it because wow. you see there's a big gap. Mm -hmm. I have a sticky tire mm -hmm. and, and it goes all the way to this side right here. So, so I get wrapped it's like that. So I've been repainting bumper this like every couple months. Oh my god, my man. Yeah, so I was like, so I built this by myself, you know, mm -hmm. so it's actually blocking all the rocks to here. 
ingenuity. I love that, guys. Amazing. Yeah. And the fact, well, I guess the, the one person might be sad about that is your body man, your paint man, who is losing some business. But other than that... He thinks RJ and, like, he, he does perfect. Like, look at all those, like, paint, you know, like... Man. To be honest, like, the factory uh, Ferrari paint is really thin. Mm -hmm. So I can't build with it, but he put a really, actually thick, like, paint coat, you know, on this car. I look, look at it! Look at it, bumper! I don't even see, like... Do you see like a lot of watches? Not at all. No, no, it looks amazing. The car looks phenomenal, man. Now, Danny, how many years have you done the Shukai show? Oh, uh, probably four years. Oh, wow, you're a veteran. Yeah, Excellent. so Terry invited me the first month so I came here. And the second year, I came with my GTR. Oh, wow, Third very year, cool. I came here with the Aventador, the Lamborghini. Oh, man. And this year, that coffee shop owner lady said she's a Japanese lady, very nice lady. She was asking Terry, can you ask that Asian Ferrari guy to bring his Ferrari in front of my coffee shop? <laughs> so I was like, okay, all right, I'll do that, you know. Oh, man, what a nice guy. You got to love this guy, man. Yeah, so good about taking care of everybody. She, she appreciates She did give me a coffee. What a nice lady. Very cool, man. Very cool. <laughs> and as far as the Shukai show, because we all know Kerry and he's been so good yeah. to us. I mean, what does the show really mean to you? What does it bring to you? I mean, look at this. I mean, like there's a lot of like, good coffee shops, good actually different cars, you know, and a nice restaurant here too, you know. Oh man. And it's not a long hour like other shows, like eight, 10 hours. This is only for like four hours. Understood. Just, yeah, I just come here, chill, have some coffee, have some good lunch, you know, hang out with the friends, you know, see nice, like those nice JD and Bill. I mean, I feel like I'm outsider here, you know. <laughs> I'm the only exotic here, but like, you know, but still I enjoy it, you know. Hey man, that, that just means more attention for you, brother. Yeah, you know what I mean? Very much. All well, right. man, we really appreciate taking your time. And again, guys, follow Dan on Instagram, check out his YouTube channel. Just a heck of a guy, super nice. Brother, thank you so much for taking your time to hang with me. All right, thank I you. really appreciate it. It was great right. meeting you, my man. Right, thank okay, you. thank you. Well, all right then. Man, what a blast. And those were two of my favorite cars that I saw but there are definitely more favorites to come. Timing is kind of odd because just yesterday, my good friend Ara contacted me and asked me advice on whether or not he should sell and possibly buy something else or just hold on to his very limited production exotic car. The odd thing is that I told him, if I knew that, my friend, I'd be a billionaire <laughs> because I don't know. And a good example is the Type R. When the Type R came out, I thought, Maybe I should buy a few of those. And I just decided not to do it or never got around to it. And of course, look at Chris's Type R. If I'm not mistaken, he said some of those are going for about 75,000. So if I would have stored four or five of those, I would be in much better shape and being able to buy something else. But as you know, that's a difficult task to predict the future. And moving on, of course, to Danny's 458 GT3 car, one of the nicest I've seen, man. Big build from top to bottom, and I really just did not see any flaws to that car. Makes me think, maybe I should build another Ferrari? I don't know. We'll have to see. But on that exciting, happy note, I hope you guys have a good weekend. See you next time.